What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Triple THS. I'm the once future king, Tommy Toho. Today, Marco goes to God. We sort out the middleweight division, and I talk to everyone's favorite fight fan. Plus, a view and comment of the week. Bang biscuit! <laughs> What a week it was, fight fans. Civil Engineer versus Burrito Engineer in the next season of Tough. Rampage called out Sun in the preparation for his fight with Glover Teixeira. And after a super card that disappointed like the last episode of Lost, we were treated two free cards that delivered. The weird cousin that nobody likes known as Strike Force put on a hell of a show. The Dean Amin went heavy flow and his loss to Gracie number 370. Nate the Great threw the Tiger uppercut and nearly knocked Tyron Woodley's head off. Luke Rocco got the decision win over Katy Perry to keep it strapped. Earlier in the week, the UFC had a card that aired on the big foot of cable channels, Fuel TV. From top to bottom, the card kicked all kinds of ass. Topped off with James, that's not a knife, this is a knife to Huna, and the executioner going rock'em sock'em robot on each other's faces for 15 minutes. The main event saw Godzilla Weedman making Mark Munoz look like a coastal Japanese city as he handled him on the ground with ease, threw about 5,700 submissions at him, and then finished the fight with a short elbow that knocked the stupid haircut off Munoz's head. The only thing worse than Mark's haircut was Josh Rosenthal letting Weedman pummel Munoz for a few hours before realizing he was dead and shooting more blood out of his forehead than the elevator in The Shining. With the win, the young gun called out the spider goat, but he ain't the only guy lined up to lose against the champ before he fights GSP. Now that the rivalry with Westland's finest is over, about 17 people have come forward claiming they should get the number one spot. Belfort, Bisbee, Lumbar, Belcher, Evans, Bosch, Stan, Henderson, Kokoshuko, Frank Dukes, Mayor McCheese, and the Castle Seabiscuit are all on the hunt. I will now give each fighter a chance to plead their case. My hand is not broken no more. Okay? Give me the title shot I need, but not the one I deserve. What? Thanks, Hector. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a title shot today. Ha! America. Uh, nope. Put that cookie down now! Okay, never mind. The fighters aren't the only characters that make up the MMA community fight fans. Ring girls, cut men, promoters, and of course, that guy at the bar when you're trying to watch the fights with your friends. He's an MMA bar guy, and I brought him here for a quick one-on-one. -on -one. How you doing, guy? Hey, what's up, bro? Just here at Hooters prepping for the next big one this weekend. Pretty sure my waitress is hitting on me. You sure about that? Pretty sure she wants the D, bro. She's been smiling at me when she brings me drinks. Call me hun. I'm just like, easy lady, hands off the merch, you know what I'm saying? What can you tell us about the upcoming fights? Dude, these guys better stand and bang till somebody goes down. Nobody wants to see technique and all that stupid crap on the ground where they roll on each other. What are they doing down there? Get a room, right? That's called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Don't try to tell me about fight stuff, bro. I hit the heavy bag at LA Fitness like every day. I challenged Chris Lehman to a fight once and he pussed out and didn't respond to my tweet. Saw UFC one on pay-per-view. Me and Dana are bros, dude. He, my buddy? My buddy's really good friends with him. So don't tell me about Brazilian Jitsujutsu or whatever you're talking about. You wanna go? Where are we going? I'm talking like go, bro. You and me behind Hooters, go time. These fights get me jacked, man. They make one of y'all stupid ass comments the whole fight and ruin the experience for all the people watching here at the bar. That sounds about right. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, bro. My slow pitch softball league is starting up and we need some more guys. Come join the Shockers. Uh, we're the seven time league champs. No doubt in my mind. Thanks for coming out. Do a comment time. Take it away, bar guy. All right, this week's winner is D Diver D Divergil 4. He said I flushed more stuff down my toilet that had potential more than this show. Good stuff, bro. I like your style. Bro, you smashed Tommy like Chuck Lytle beat up on Jim Jones. I was at that fight. Diss my boy in the comments below, and you could be viewing comment. You could be it. Booyah! That's the show, Fight Fans. Tune in next Wednesday when I crash weddings with Randy Couture. Check out all my awesome friends in the description below. Remember, Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. Let the games begin.